Hi guys, welcome to this channel. We are still looking at employment laws and regulations in the private sector in the UAE. And we are trying to look at the very important, the 13 important articles of the UAE labor law, uh, which, which are entire, which really will either protect your rights or protect the rights of the employer in one way or the other. Remember, it's just a contemporary discipline between both, both of us. Uh, the employer and the employee both need each other in one way or the other. When you look at, uh, but when you look at uh, what you call the UAE labor law, there are articles, there are articles that stipulate that kind of relationship between the employer and uh, the employee or between the human resource and the manager of a given company in one way or the other. And definitely, why we are looking at this, that we definitely need to know what our, our rights as employee, what do we need to know, what should we be, what should, should we be aware of such that we don't uh, fall, contemplate, we don't fall into um, the other side of the law that will get penalized in one way. In this video, we are going to look at yet another article, that is what you call Article 10 and Article Article 9 and Article 10 of the UAE Labor Law. This is useful to know if you are an employer and or a manager or human resource. However, this one states that the work is inherent rights of the nationals of the United Arab Emirates, um, meaning that uh, this one, when we talk about Article number 9 and number 10, what does it mean? It means this article mostly goes to what you call the managers of those companies and goes to the human resources of those companies. And what does the article say? That it, it definitely specifies that the inherent of the work in the UAE is as of, uh, it is the right of the nationals of the UAE to get uh, those positions first uh, other than the rest of the people out there. For example, if you're in the company and you have the managerial or the human resource or the accountant position, the first advertisement should be made for the UAE nationals. Then after the Arab speaking countries can come in, then the other nationalities can come in one way or the other. For example, if you are announcing or you are advertising the manager, the position should be the first candidate, successful candidate, should be looked at, should be the UAE national. That is according to the UAE government. In case you cannot find someone fit or you, in case you don't find applicants for that position, then you can move into another another group of people. Those are what we call the Arab-speaking uh, Arab speaking, uh, uh, individuals, Arab-speaking countries becoming the second. And if you cannot find someone who is fit or who is willing to take on the work, then probably you can further it and encourage or allow other nationalities to come. So, according to Article 10 and uh, Article 9 of the UAE Labor Law, the most advertisement or important position should always first be a priority to the UAE nationals than other people. Hope I'm trying to share something for you. Uh, for people who did not know this, the UAE nationals, if you are UAE national, in the UAE you are given more priority. And if, if you were given, if for example, uh, it's called emiratization uh, of the nationals. The nationals are being taught to do what other people can do or are being trained to do what other people can do in one way or the other. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. By the way, don't forget to hit that subscribe and notification bell. Remember, it's next from the next creation. See you in the next video as we try to look at more articles.